I'm really pleased to welcome you on board the new Leopard 42, launched in January 21. Uh, this is the latest model of the sailing range of Catamaran from Leopard, in the direct line of the great brothers, the Leopard 50 and Leopard 45. I will show you this boat right now, so you'll be able to discover it for the first time. The Leopard 42 I'm going to show you right now benefit from the main features uh, part of the DNA of Leopard's catamaran. Those main features are large living area where you can all uh, meet together without bothering the one maneuvering at the arm station. You will also find the step hull which warranty good performance even on comfortable cruising cats. The third point would be of course the forward door that allow for nice circulation but also perfect ventilation on the boat. Keep in mind that we now have more than 2,400 boats cruising the world with this forward door. The last point, which is really new on a cat that size, is the lounge that I will show you. On the Leopard 42, the transom access are large and safe to access the boat from the quay or from the dinghy, when you have one of course, it will be easy. Circulation is one important point for us. So large, easy circulation, safe. No line, no maneuvers, nothing to bother those just uh, enjoying their time on board. As you can notice, large and strong ladders to go swimming and uh, come up on the boat uh, easily. The Leopard 42, like her brothers, is a comfortable cat where you will enjoy your time on board. But this is also an easy cat to maneuver. So everything technical has been simplified as much as possible. As an example, the David system allows one single person to put the dinghy into the water or to bring it back. You just have to open the safety lock and press the button. This electrical Davids allow to have a dinghy up to 200 kilograms, but uh, you're not limited in length since the dinghy will touch the water behind the transom. As you know, one really important point for us is to keep on the cockpit area a large table where all the guests and crew members can sit all together at once if they want. On the Leopard 42, we are not mixing areas. On one side, living area. On the other side, the helm station for the maneuvering part of the sailing. That said, when you are at the helm station, you can still interact with the rest of the crew members. You can keep an eye and talk with those sitting in the cockpit, with those in the salon area, but also those on the lounge area upstairs. All the maneuvers goes back to the helm station. No need to run around the deck to maneuver one sail or the others. Uh, as a standard, you have a main sail and a Genoa, overlapping Genoa, control from the winch here, which is really easy to do. But also if you decided to have extra sails, like a cut zero, an asymmetrical spinnaker, you could control those cells from there. This helm station is protected as a standard with a large rigid bimini. You can of course also add, if you want, a full enclosure in option. You can reach the lounge via really secured steps up there. This extra living area is exceptional on a cat that size. This lounge allows to welcome all the guests if they want in a new space. Notice this area is always under the control of the helm station. The person at the helm station can see what's happening over here and can interact if he wants. One original feature of the Leopard Sailing Cats are the salon area. As you can see, it's not turned the classical way. The galley is forward, meaning that when you're cooking, you're facing forward, which is nicer, but also safer when you're at sea. The other point is that the seating area is turned also looking forward. That way, again, it's, it's more comfortable when sailing, but also it allows a fantastic ventilation to the salon area if you open the forward door. As a standard feature, you will have large freeze and freezer on the boat. You can, of course, add more if you want as an option. You will also notice that we have plenty of storage space under the floor, under the city, but also all the drawers and cabinets you will find all around the salon area. As you can see, the boat is extremely bright, thanks to large windows and to the skylights. Regarding ventilation, the boat will be extremely well ventilated, thanks to the forward door 
and to the large door and window at the back communicating with the cockpit area. As you certainly know, this Lapert 42 will also soon be available with Sunsail and the Moorings, our parent charter companies. Working ourselves with those boats, this is crucial when we develop this model to make sure that all technical access are as easy as possible so maintenance can be fast. For that reason, electrical access, water system or engines will be easily accessible. We are in the honor cabin on the three cabin version Lapert 42, keeping in mind that this model is also available in four cabins. As you can see, the cabin is extremely bright thanks to the large uh, windows into the hull. In terms of ventilation, you will have an excellent ventilation thanks to the many hatch you'll have on the roof. The honor cabin benefits of a large bed with lateral access on both sides. For more privacy, you can have a lock this cabin so you don't have to interact anymore with the rest of the crew. In the other cabin, you will have the study desk, many drawers, under the bed, along the hull, and the wardrobe just next to the access to the bathroom. One hidden feature of the sailing lapid scout is the metal beam crossing the boat. This beam is there to give excellent stiffness, rigidity, to the boat and also to warranty the structure on the long-term life of the boat. The bright and well-ventilated bathroom of the honor cabin benefits of a really large shower, headroom, basin, numerous uh, lockers and in option, if you want, will accommodate the washing machine. We are now in the port hull of the Lapert 42. In this hull, you will find two cabins, each cabin benefiting of its own head compartment. Notice that if we were on a four cabin version, this hull would be symmetrical to the starboard hull. Large windows brings lots of light in the cabins. Uh, numerous hatches uh, gives uh, ample ventilation to those cabins. In each cabin, you will find large drawers and wardrobe for the guests to be able to have all their uh, stuff there. In the head compartment, you will have a separated shower, the toilet, the basin, and the storage. Ventilation, thanks to the two hatch. Thanks to this door that we'll find on the entire range of Lapert's cats, we will now go in the front of the boat without having to go all around by the back. Notice that this door is well secured in case of bad weather. The forward part of the boat is a living area with large four bed, again easily accessible by the door or by the transom. But it is also a technical area with huge storage. Storage is here under the steps, but also the main locker, which can uh, accommodate, if you want as an option, a, a genset. And of course, you can have sails and lots of equipment on board. As we've told you, the Lapert Cat needs to be an easy cat to sails. And one of the main points when you're cruising is the access to the anchor to easily moor your boats. As you can see, one person alone will do all the maneuver, dropping the anchor with the remote control next to the windlass and also fix the bridle just over here. You won't need to have two people to do this maneuver as you can release the chain and fix the bridle alone. You don't need to have one people here and the other in the front beam. I hope you enjoyed this first visit of the Lapert 42 as I did and that I will see you soon on board so you'll be able to feel by yourself and discover by yourself all the nice features of this boat and enjoy a sea trial with us on this new boat. See you soon. Bye.